Hi guys, how you doing? It's your boy Pridham and welcome back to my channel. If you guys have been following or even if not, let me give you a really quick update. I am planning to go on a three month backpacking trip solo around Southeast Asia and North Asia to places that I've never been before and that I'm super excited about going. I really want to hit Vietnam because I've never been and the food is meant to be spectacular. Um, also going to the Philippines because I'm a massive beach baby and the island hopping just sounds incredible when it's grey and miserable here in the UK. Um, and further more than that, I'm going to go to Sri Lanka. Again, never been super exotic and foreign to me, but it feels kind of like a decent mix between the culture and food of like the Vietnamese side, but also the beautiful beaches that you've got in the Philippines. And I'm super excited to get into the history and culture and the people. Yeah, I've heard amazing things. But like every good traveler before I go, I've been trying to make a budget and I really want to stick to it. So I'm probably staying in a few hostels, but also wanting to do the odd hotel stay if it's cheap to treat myself and also get that private rest, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I found basically a Google Sheets spreadsheet uh, with a template on with expenses. And I'm gonna share my screen with you and show you how I am going to budget. So I found this little table through Indie Travel Guru and it lists different expenses here um, as well as the subtotal, then a total here with a slashy fund, which gives you a 10% over just for any incurred expenses or something that you've not really like planned for. So I adapted this for myself into a super simple Google spreadsheet. And let's try and do some of this together. So um, I'm not gonna count my international flights. I'm basically just gonna do this basically on a month to month basis to get a monthly budget basically of how much and it's three months all together. So I'm gonna times that roughly by three. Um, my international flights are covered by my air miles from British Airways, which I will tell you about in another video. But for now, I'm thinking about local flights. So this is either internally or I'm thinking about going from, for example, Vietnam to the Philippines. I've already looked this up and they're not more than about £150. So I'm going to put that in and I put that in once because I'm only planning on doing that, for example, once per month. So here we've got £150 once um, once a month, and then I've got this as £150. So daily lodgings, hostels in Asia cost between £4 to £10 a night. I want to go towards the like top end, but also like stay in the odd hotel, but cheap hotel. Um, so I'm going to put this to um, £12 and over 30 days. Let's see how much that costs. That's going to be £360 a month for um, lodgings. And now food. I'm going to stick mainly to street food. I do want the odd, like, nice restaurant meal because I'm a bit of a foodie. But street food in Asia, especially in um, Vietnam, I know is super cheap. People don't spend more than £2. But I will put this to 8 so to factor in the odd, nice meal, which might cost you know, above five quid a night. Um, but I'm not planning to do that regularly. And again, let's put this at 30 and see what that comes out to. Okay, so that's £240 a month for food. Okay, drinks and entertainment. Now, I'm not a huge drinker, but I do like the odd drink, obviously. And maybe once in a blue moon, I'll have something. So let's put this drinks thing down um and also entertainment things like shows things like um things that the hostel might do for evenings maybe the odd film maybe going to i don't know like see something cultural um so let's put this to five pounds a night um that might be even more than i actually need but it's always good to plan for these things so i've got 150 pounds 
per month on drinks and entertainment. Now, trips and tours, I really want to go somewhere. I want to do local things. Um, I don't want to use big companies or pay for luxury kind of stuff, but there might be the odd thing that I want to save up for. For example, if I'm in the Philippines, I'd like to go scuba diving. Um, but let's round this off again by saying let's put around um, six pounds per day for something that's like a boat trip or a you know to add together for a scuba diving tour so for average let's do six I see what that comes out to that's 180 for the month and now daily transportation I'm thinking like uh, the odd bus or cab from the airport to the hostel and then a tuk-tuk or a bus ride from one side of the country to another I would quite like this to be, um, let's say, up to £5 a day again, because I'm going to go super local. I'm thinking about grabs and tuk-tuks and cheap buses rather than luxury private vehicles and all that kind of other stuff. So let's say that roughly, and you've got 150 Pounds. So let's add all this up together first. Let me put a extra row in here. Um, and let's call this subtotal. And let's do yeah, okay. So that works out to roughly £1,230 per month, kind of blank canvas which is kind of what I was expecting to be completely honest and then from there um that's kind of my budget my top tier budget for uh travels anyway and then from there let's add 10 percent so um I don't really know how to do this that okay so the basic footfall is 1350 so I'm going to call it 1350 per month to be completely honest even by really budgeting I'm still a little bit shocked at how expensive it's going to be but that does include obviously everything like lodgings, food, tours, um, all the kind of daily expenses and an additional footfall on top. So I shouldn't be that shocked. It is kind of like completely my budget, but I do think it will be worth it for the experience and the learning curve. For anyone else who is looking to plan a trip to Asia, I really hope that that gives you a slight overview on what the expenses realistically are. And that is also still being fairly modest. I'm not going over the top with expensive meals or really expensive trips or doing like the top tier things constantly, but that hopefully gives me a little bit of a footfall to enjoy myself and not just live like a pauper and not just stay in the super cheapest, you know, like 12 bed dorms with in the like super cheapest hostels all the time. It'll be nice to do a few different things. I might break it up with a little bit of like work away or a little bit of um, volunteering, but let's see how that goes. In the meantime, um, wherever you guys are, please stay safe, please stay happy and happy travels and leave me a comment and I would love to start a conversation with you about these things. I'm kind of excited about going, but I'm also nervous. I still haven't like booked my flights, even though I want to go in the next few weeks. It's kind of like very, very real, but I think I should go and commit to it after all of this work and planning. It would be so wrong to back out now. <laughs> But um, yeah, guys, um, that's some of the planning. I hope you guys like that video. Okay, bye.